I'm Dan Derrigan. I teach here at Westchester University uh, in the Department of Literacy. I've been here 18 years and am currently teaching a load where it includes both the practical side of teaching teachers how to teach reading and writing, as well as how to use children's literature in their classrooms. I have quite a past history with uh, children's literature as a, as a whole area of, of interest. So um, a couple of years ago, a friend of mine uh, nominated me to be uh, on a, a, a list of uh, people to be elected to the Newberry Committee itself. Uh, seven people are elected, of the 15, are elected to be on the Newberry Committee. Well, the Newberry Medal is, is one of the three major awards given for children's literature that honors distinction in, in, in literature. The, the, the Newberry itself is for distinguished writing. We read through hundreds and hundreds of books. Uh, right now we've received, I think, almost 500 and we, we're halfway through the year, so we've got a lot of books to come and to read. But um, uh, as the year unfolds, uh, all 15 of us on the committee read very, very widely. And, and what we do is we, we read with the idea of what is distinguished that we're reading. So um, on a monthly basis, we choose the best books we found that last month and we send, it into our, send that list into our chair and then she collates them all and sends the list back out to us, thank goodness for email, and, um, and so we then read what all the other people are reading. Because so, I, can't, I can't possibly read everything, but I think as a committee of 15, we really do hit about every book uh, in, the, in the list. There's so many books that I, I love uh, from the past, and I, I suppose we have to first of all mention one of the best and from one of our local heroes, Jerry Spinelli. Maniac McGee is one of the, one of the great books, one of the most perfect of all books uh, written for children. Another, another book that I particularly like was A Single Shard by Linda Sue Park. Um, it's uh, written about 12th century Korea and, and a very gentle, beautiful little book and uh, one that uh, kids gravitate to with great instruction. Uh, another local hero who's passed away, but another local hero of ours is Lloyd Alexander, and his, he won the Newberry for the High King, and, and, and that's a particularly good book. I like that very much. And then, of course, there's Holes by Lewis Sacker. Well, the process it, uh, from the publishing house side, um, what the publishers do is they send out copies to us of books they consider to be their best. And so, rather than get six or eight hundred books from Penguin, I'm going to get maybe 25 or so. Uh, starting in October, we actually nominate three books. And this is, this is new to the committee, but we nominate three books in October. Uh, each of us nominates three books. So that means 45 books are on the table. In November, each of us nominates two, and then December we nominate two. So each of us are responsible for seven books that we really, really like out of this year of 2010. Um, those books, uh, the collective books on that, that list, then are what we discuss in January when we make our final decisions. One, uh, when I look at a particular book, and, and, and as a committee we do this as well, um, we tend to look at a lot of the story elements that we teach in school, you know, what theme and characterization and setting and plot and those sort of things. Um, and so it, it's sort of natural, that's why we teach this way, uh, because that's what we consider to be distinguished uh, 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 literature. Um, you know, I'm teaching full time. Uh, I teach, you know, four courses in the spring and I taught, teach four courses in the summer. Uh, so any spare minute that you get, you know, I get up a half hour early and read and I'm sitting out on the porch reading. I'll be out there this afternoon. And, uh, it, you know, it just goes on and on. Now, I've been very, very fortunate to have uh, been awarded a sabbatical f for the fall, so so I'm going to at least have the, the whole fall semester where I can just concentrate on reading, and that's gonna be wonderful.